hello everyone in today's video i will discuss about max weber's concept of ideal type in this topic we will discuss what is the ideal type and what is the argument of the weber about the ideal type why ideal type is important or significant for a sociological theory or perspective and how ideal type can be a framed for the sociological research or social research so all these things we will discuss so please be connected methodology of max weber is the best hand best hand is a german word means understanding and this the word best hand that is understanding is derived from the hermeneutic hermeneutic is a particular the branch in the philosophy it deals with the understanding that is interpretation interpretation of the existence and understand through interpretation so basically the wasterhand which uh, max weber used in sociology for understanding the social life so his understanding of social life uh, through interpretation he used this wester hand to interpret the social life and this uh, the concept this this methodology of wester hand he used for all of his research works so we can say that ideal type is one of the leading concept that uh, concept was a, a very significant contribution in the contemporary sociology so he used this interpretative understanding in his concept in in the formulation of the concept of ideal type so his concept of ideal type is based on the interpretative understanding of the society so this ideal type now we will discuss ideal type according to max weber is a concept constructed by a social scientist or a sociologist based on his own theoretical interest and a theoretical uh, this research interest to understand the essential features of the society or social life according to max weber sociologist or social scientist should construct the conceptual tool that is ideal type for understanding for better understanding the society or social life according to max weber sociologist or social scientist should uh, should use the ideal type or should construct the ideal type because this construction of ideal type may help the future of the social scientist and the historians so to explain further i would say this ideal type is a, is a conceptual tool it's a concept and which is framed by the social researcher or social scientist to understand the empirical reality of the society and that construction of the concept is based on certain interest of the researcher or social scientist and the theoretical orientation so uh, this we can say it's a, a measuring tool it's a measuring tool or scale to examine the reality examine the social reality or actual reality that exist and weber argued that this uh, ideal type is a heuristic device because it is used to examine to understand the social reality that exist according to him uh, this uh, ideal type as heuristic device or a measuring tool or a conceptual tool is useful for undertaking empirical research and this empirical research may be specific that is to understand a specific aspects of the society or overall structure of the society we can say that the function of the ideal type is to compare the concept or conceptual tool with the reality with the empirical reality that is this conceptual tool this ideal type is framed constructed to compare the uh, concepts with the reality with the empirical existence so this is the very important uh, function of the ideal type and to understand the uh, empirical reality what exists the conceptual tools must be used because this conceptual tool or this ideal type 
may uh, provide a clear cut unambiguous picture of the reality. So social scientist or sociologist may get a clear picture of the social reality, social phenomena or uh, about a particular aspects of the social structure or uh, the social structure as a whole uh, if they use the uh, conceptual tool called the ideal type. Now here another important point which should be focused. How ideal type is uh, constructed or how uh, from where it is derived. According to Max Weber, ideal type is derived inductively from the uh, real world or the history. That it is uh, not a concept, it's, it's not a concept uh, that constructed uh, from out of the box or from out of the world, there is from nowhere, no. It's not, no, it's not like this. This conceptual law, this ideal type is framed uh, based on the previous the theoretical uh, formulations and the real world that exists. That is the researcher through their observation, through historical analysis, through theoretical understanding can only frame the ideal type. Without the reality, without the knowledge of the social world, without the knowledge of the society particularly and without the knowledge of the history and the uh, theoretical or formulations, the ideal type cannot be framed. So according to Max Weber, without the knowledge of the society, without the knowledge of the history of any particular society, social scientist or researcher cannot construct or formulate the ideal type. Ideal type is not something which is abstractly formed through imagination like the, like the poetry and uh, the novel. It has to be linked with the real world. So it can be framed only if the researcher has a complete or means the overall understanding, observation of the society or social world and know the history of the society. Here I am giving example. If a researcher or a social scientist wants to uh, frame or construct a model economic, a model uh, uh, the economy of any society, so he or she has to understand the economy of the real society or the history of economy of that particular society. Without having any prior knowledge of the history of the economy of that particular society and what is there in the reality, one cannot make the model economy. So, <clears throat> so that is why according to Max Weber, uh, for framing ideal type, the observation, the knowing of the history, understanding and uh, knowledge of the society is, the, is must or is essential. Another very important point of the ideal type is that it should not be a very specific nor very general. This according to Max Weber, ideal type should neither be a very general nor very specific. For example, there cannot be an ideal type of the model Indian society because uh, no, uh, numbers of uh, numbers of the institutions, numbers of the parts of the society are there. So we cannot generalize or we cannot make a general uh, model society. So there should be a particular conceptual tool or ideal type about the, uh, about the different aspects of the society. And it cannot be very specific. That is a model of this particular uh, this particular village or this particular society can be used for the rest of India, no. So it cannot be very specific and it cannot be very general. It has to be in between uh, very specific and general. As we already uh, discussed that ideal type uh, should derive from the, uh, the historical understanding and the observation and the real understanding of the society. But again, uh, Max Weber is saying this does not mean that this ideal type will be a, a, a mirror image of the society. That ideal type should not be uh, just, uh, the, just another image of the society. We cannot just put a society into the ideal type. It has to be different. Ideal type, according to Max Weber, so should be exaggerated. That is, there should be exaggeration in uh, making or framing a particular model or conceptual tool. So just clear picture or the real picture of any particular society cannot be called as or cannot be considered as the ideal type. 
we should uh, means the frame idle type from the real world from the real society but it should not be as it is Max Weber again argues that the ideal type should make sense of the world around them that is this ideal type or this conceptual tool must make a sense of the world around us so that we can understand the world through this conceptual tool again uh, it is said that this ideal type is not necessarily correct or positive it may be found negative or incorrect but it is a conceptual tool to compare the concept with the reality concept with the uh, actual existence of the society so it is not necessary that this ideal type will be correct and positive as it is it may be partially correct and partially incorrect the last point of weber's ideal type i will discuss here is the use of ideal type for understanding both static and dynamic aspects of the society as we know society constantly changes and weber also considered that society is dynamic not static so ideal type uh, should not be framed uh, to just understand the static aspect or static entity of the society no ideal type also uh, should be modified and should be dynamic to capture the dynamism of the society he gave the example of bureaucracy so weber's a uh, bureaucracy is the ideal type bureaucracy he used this ideal type bureaucracy to understand the real bureaucracy that i will discuss in another video so here he uh, means mentioned that bureaucracy and bureaucratization bureaucracy is a static entity that is is a structure of administration of any particular society and bureaucratization is the process of making society a bureaucratic or process of a process of making the institution or organization a bureaucratic one so both this process both this uh, bureaucracy and bureaucratization can be understood by the ideal type so this is how max weber discussed his ideal type and we will continue this discussion in the next video so please be connected with the channel sociology for life and please like the video put your comment subscribe recommend others to subscribe and share Thank you very much.